Do you ever sit down to write a song and you just can't hear that chorus? You don't know how it goes. Or you sit down to write a chorus and you realize you're writing a lot like you wrote the last song's chorus and the song before that, maybe the song before that. I am Heather Greenslade at Singer Songwriting School and in this video I'm going to continue my series of deconstructing the choruses from hit songs to see what they're doing. And this one I think is going to really take some stress off of you because what I've discovered is that sometimes we're just working way too hard. So I found a bunch of hit songs, I mean seriously hit contemporary songs, that had one line in the entire chorus. And one of them even has one note sung through the whole chorus. So does this sound sound familiar? Are we out of the woods? Yeah, are we out of the woods? Yeah, are we out of the woods? Yeah, are we out of the woods? Are we in the clear yet? Are we in the clear yet? Are we in the clear yet? In the clear yet? Are we out of the woods? Yeah, are we out of the woods? Yeah, are we out of the woods? Yeah, are we out of the woods? Are we in the clear yet? In the in the So that is one of Taylor Swift's current mega hits, and as you can tell, she sings one note throughout the entire chorus and she's just singing two lines are we are we out of the woods are we in the clear over and over so what colors it and makes it interesting is that she's changing the chords so she's singing a C she's playing a C chord so that's the root are we out of the woods then she goes to a G chord so that C is the fourth in that, so it's a little more interesting color. So she's still singing C. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the woods. It's almost dissonant, right? Mm -hmm. Then she goes to A minor, so this C is the third of that chord. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, out of the wood. And then to the F. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, out of the wood. Which the C is the fifth. But just singing that same note but coloring it with different chords just makes it totally work. And I mean, it's catchy. It's a Taylor Swift hit song, right? How about Megan Trainer? Same thing. It's one line over and over, the whole chorus for All About That Bass. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, na 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 So she, sing, she sings it either as or an A or a B. And she just shifts through her chords, A, B minor, E back to A. It just sings that same line. And it's another total hit song. Simplest chorus you can imagine. So somebody told me I'm too skinny to sing that song, but I'm probably too old for this one and I'm gonna sing this one too. I, I love you like a love song, baby. I, I love you like a Selena Gomez. That chorus is the same thing over and over and over and uh, it's it's basically very straight melodically as well. So I find that a lot of writers overcomplicate it. Uh, you know, the purpose of your chorus is to really color the story. Basically, its job is to present the hook and to present a different energy level. Usually, the most intense dense energy level in the song. So as long as you're doing that, it doesn't have to be super complicated. You know, another song that does this is Yeah, 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 girls like you, Maroon 5. And so there are two schools of thought. Either that song has a really long pre-chorus and then that really short chorus that's repeated, or part of that pre-chorus is the chorus. I mean, really could go either way. But what I really like to do is deconstruct songs, find things that I see happening over and over in really successful songs, and then saying to myself, hey, I'm going to write a song using that strategy. That way you just never run out of ways to write. You never feel like all my songs sound the same. I need a new strategy. Where am I going to come up with it? So do that. I challenge you to listen to songs and hear those patterns, or hey, Follow me, because that's what I do, and I will de deconstruct them for you. So 
as always, I have a freebie for you. It's down in the description below, and it is six strategies for creating limitless song titles so that lyrically you never get stuck. You have a jumping off point. And hey, follow me here if you're not yet. So click follow, hit the little bell so you get notified when I make a new video. And if you do use this strategy to write a song, I would love to hear it. Put a link in the comments so I can go listen, and I will respond.